Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, July 18th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. And I had a kitty cat, but she has finished her breakfast and is wandering around the house. And I have with me St. Francis, Jesus, Jesus, and Mary and the baby. In the daily office reading for today, we're deep in the book of Joshua. And at the opening of the sixth chapter, Joshua is given some instructions by God to take the city of Jericho. Jericho is the uh, lowest city on the planet. It's 250 meters below sea level, near the Dead Sea, where there is no life because it's below sea level. And in an interesting set of instructions, God tells Joshua to take the Israelite people and the troops and to march around the city in groups of seven. It's really an antithesis of the creation story. So for six days, Joshua and the people march around blowing ram's horns. And on the seventh day, they march around seventh seven times and the city walls fall. It's the antithesis of the creation story. A seven day destruction of a town so that some new town can be born. It's confusing, isn't it, that God would call a people to invade a land? Was it really that understanding was that God. Certainly it was what God was telling them at the time, what they could understand. Love for them meant God would be on their side in war because everyone was fighting and there wasn't enough water and there wasn't enough land. So for them, the highest form of love was God fighting for them, destroying for them. In this world that we live in, things are born and things die. Things are created and things are destroyed. It's part of the natural order and it's hard for us to understand. But here we have a city being destroyed so that another people can thrive. What in you is dying so that something new can be born? In this time of pandemic, we find ourselves struggling in ways we've never struggled before, having to let go of things that we've never had to let go of before, having to let things die so that new things can be born. What is it in your life that you need to let go of? What needs to die so that new life can be born? Is it your busyness? Is it your sense that you have to accomplish something every day? Is it your relationship with someone that needs to be let go? Whatever it is, it's not always a bad thing to let something go, to let it die. Sometimes new life comes that way. Let us pray. Almighty God, in this strange and unprecedented time, we come to you with so many questions. Who are you calling us to become? Why are we having to suffer in this way? What needs to die so that new life can be born? And what are you trying to teach us? Help us to use this time of pandemic not as a time to be punished, but as a time to seize growth. Help us to grow in new and unprecedented ways as a human race, to become wiser, to have reverence for this world that you have made and for one another. We ask you to bless those who are ill, those who are suffering, those who care for them. 
those who are dying and those who are born. Bless the sick, Lord Christ. Comfort them. Give us wisdom, caution, that we may stem the spread of this virus. Give our researchers the intelligence and insight to develop a vaccine. And move with us, Lord, through this period of death and rebirth so that we may emerge closer to you, full of reverence for all that you have made. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. Have a great day. God bless you.